CodeScene uses four key factors to help you visualize, understand, and improve your software. In this video, we'll take a look at one of the factors, code health, and we'll see how we can use it to prioritize work on technical debt. This is the first tab on your project dashboard. We'll be using the MongoDB codebase, mostly written in C++, as an example. Our recommended starting point when exploring a codebase is the hotspots map. It'll help you identify modules where you spend most of your development time. And you can get to this view by clicking here on View Hotspots. Let's take a look. In this map, dark circles imply a high development activity, and these are called hotspots. Hotspots don't imply a quality problem on their own. Every codebase has its own hotspots where the majority of the work is happening. So this view is not sufficient to understand where we might have issues. We need more data. So let's go to the code health tab by clicking over here and we'll look at the code through a different lens. Code health is separated into three different categories, green, yellow, and red code. Green code is healthy code that is usually easy for developers to pick up, understand, and modify. Yellow code is where you've begun to take on some technical debt and code health issues. Red code is challenging and expensive to maintain. But just because some code is complicated, that doesn't mean that it requires any immediate action. It might be code that is rarely modified. But if we combine the hotspot metric with the code health metric, we can identify code that is both complex and has high development activity. And this is where the refactoring tab comes into play. It combines these two metrics and looks at complicated code that also changes often. Let's take a look. This view is kind of like the intersection of the previous two. And here we want to focus on the red areas. This is code that is both complicated and frequently changed. Improvements to these parts are likely to give you a real return on investment. Yellow areas are a lower priority than the red category. But we can go even deeper than this. We can click on one of these files, scroll down, and click on X-Ray to get a function level analysis of the code. Let's try it out. And here we get to see a list of all the functions in the file. We can see how often they're being changed, how large they are, and if they have any code issues. We can also click on a function to see its source code. And this was the largest function in the file. Some of these functions, they have a target icon next to their name. This means that CodeScene has identified this function as a refactoring target. And that's a function that is changed frequently and it also has some kind of code issue. So we apply the same logic as we previously did for files, but this time for individual functions within those files. And this is a very powerful way of reducing the initial unfiltered view of the entire codebase and drilling down to individual functions of special interest in terms of refactoring. Improving the code here can have a high payoff. What we can learn from this is that we don't have to fix all code issues, but we can find out where we should focus. Use code scene to find the technical debt that matters. Code quality issues in hotspots are expensive. Hotspots only make up a small part of the code base, but they can attract up to 20 to 70% of all development activity. This was a small demo of the hotspot functionality in CodeScene. Please check out CodeScene.com for more information.